And one of the things about Aikido is we work in metaphors. A metaphor is when something is like something else. And we talk about circles, squares, and triangles. And I'm going to need uh, somebody to demonstrate. Can I get a volunteer here? So take a bow or clap. So in most conflict, most conflict is triangular. It's two people yelling at each other. It's a triangular kind of conflict, right? Two people having an argument, OK? So a triangular conflict looks like this. You're going to put your hands together in front of you like you're a triangle. Stick them out. OK, triangular conflict. Two people walk together, and boom, just like that. So whoever's bigger and stronger and faster tends to win in a triangular conflict, OK? So you're going to be a triangle, and now I'm going to be a square, OK? Aim a little higher. Good. Walk towards me. Keep going. This is triangle versus square. Okay, put down your hands for a second. This is square versus square. Square versus square, nothing much changes. Okay. Triangle versus square looks really bad for the square, right? If you're the square, okay, get back up a little. Amy, walk towards me. Okay? Not a good place to be, you think, right? Except it turns out that being a square in the face of a triangular attack is actually very, very powerful. It's what Mrs. Parks did, okay? When she was riding the bus, she sat there and she said, no, I'm not moving. She was a square. She created that conflict. And all of the forces could not move her. Now, she had help. If you're being a square in the face of a triangular attack, you really want help, okay? She had the help of the NAACP, of Dr. King, of Mr. Abernathy, of the white folk who agreed with her. And as a result, she was able to sustain her, 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 her squareness. She was able to sustain her opposition. There's a picture of a man in Tiananmen Square in China. It's a beautiful picture of a man standing in front of a tank. It's an inspiring picture of a man standing up for freedom. Unfortunately, he didn't have enough support behind him. And that was not a successful uh, change in the world. OK, you're a triangle. I'm a circle. OK, walk towards me. Good. Turn around. I'm over here. Walk towards me again. OK, cool. So being a circle means you can get out of the way, right? You don't have to stay there. Even if she walked toward me, even if she bumps into me, it doesn't necessarily hurt. Also, there's some cool things back there. We'll try one more time. Watch this. OK, so cool. Walk toward me. I can move her. OK? One more. Uh, back up a little more. Cool. Walk toward me. Now, or I can go in the same direction. Thank you very much. Give her a round of applause. So now I'm going to tell you a story that uses some of the principles of Aikido. And this story is called The Bully and the Shrimp. When I was a kid and I went to school, we had a bully in our school. His name was Butch, Butch Mattingly. And Butch Mattingly was mean. He was big, he was strong, and he was...